1913, Leger decided to work upon a series of around a dozen canvases that very self-consciously did away with all imitation. The idea of illusion was gone. They were to be paintings that were solely about colour, form and line. Leger had arrived in Paris from Normandy and worked with the avant-garde generation around 1910, the Salon Cubists as they came to be known. The Contrast to Form series show him synthesizing a lot of influences, the dissection of form of Picasso and Braque and their analytical cubism. Also, Italian futurists who'd just exhibited a year before in Paris, who brought the modern city crashing into easel painting. Towering above this was Cezanne, as with most of his generation. The contrast of form mark his first personal language, and they are a high point of his early maturity. Leger really went at these paintings as though he were a sculptor. The use of primary colours, of elliptical lines, of forceful, dynamic contrast. These were pictures of contrasts. It's an unlined canvas um, that also hasn't been varnished, so its physical condition is as close to the state it would have left Leger's easel as is possible. It's like a punch to the solar plexus because it's got so much energy, and the rhythm that bursts out of it is palpable and, and exciting to be in the presence of. And what in a way completes the thrill is also its reverse. Um, it has its original wooden stretcher with the labels from the Kahnweiler Gallery and from the Gallery Rosengart, where the present owner's family bought the painting 60 years ago. Most of them are housed in museum collections, so to stand just inches away is a great thrill and it gives you a sense of the beautiful rawness of the surface.